It's for you. Welcome back to Don's Life, welcome to the channel. Thanks for joining today. Today is part two, the long awaited video to our rally that we attended for our first time. So rally virgins over here. Not anymore. Not anymore. Not no, anymore. we've got one in the bag. <laughs> um, I got my notes. I'm gonna have to refer to them. So I apologize, but I will be looking down once in a while. Um, but a quick recap, if you haven't seen it, definitely go watch the video before this one. But it was day one leaving our home city of Saskatoon meeting everybody for the first day of the rally in Great Falls, Montana. And we encountered quite a few unexpected obstacles and situations <laughs> on the way. A few grasshoppers. We had the grasshopper massacre. We had a closed border issue. We had- Gravel roads. Way too much gravel. And we had <laughs> hangry wife. No. So, no? Yeah, we did. Um, so let's get into it. All right, so we're going to leave the hotel the next morning and head to Las Vegas, Nevada. And funny thing is we go downstairs and if you've never been on a car rally before, you may have heard about this. I certainly had, even though this was our first rally, I knew this could happen. There's sometimes some hazing, that type of thing that goes on, but they don't haze you, they do something to your car. So we had some creatively placed, not safe for work or family friendly stickers <laughs> put on our vehicle. I found them pretty quick because I know when something's been messed with on my vehicle and let's just say it was, uh, well, I, I, I didn't get any footage of it, but it was uh, rated R. I uh, put it on the vehicle, peeled it off mine, put it on the vehicle that uh, I'm pretty sure put it on mine. So that was stuck on there for a little while. It was stuck on there the whole time. They never took it off. Yeah, actually I left the picture of what was on my car, but I took the phrase <laughs> and put it on his car. And they left it the whole time. Yeah, but that's okay. Cause I'm sure nobody got pulled over on this trip. So of course, what do you need every morning? Starbucks. Yeah, so we had to find the closest Starbucks. We find one, everyone drives to it, but we can't find it. It's in a Target. We got yeah, to your Starbucks. Yeah, longest it, line. Nobody yeah. was nobody was fast at Target that morning. Yeah, but it was an event, of course. <laughs> you know, you go in there and you have 20 people in line at, at Starbucks and there's not even that many shoppers for the rest of the store. So of course we had to get gas. We stopped at the closest gas station right after the Starbucks. I'll roll the footage, but this young lady keeps trying to get us arrested. No, I'm not trying to get you arrested. Nobody could hear me tattling on you. <laughs> yeah, but don't believe a word she says. Day two of the official rally, Starbucks yesterday, in hand. Starbucks in hand. <laughs> yesterday was eventful for sure, but uh, we picked up another of the ralliers, just they were late to the party. They're right there in the SRT, in the Hellcat. And uh, let's see what day two brings, but today we're going to Vegas. And so, not driving 110 miles an hour. And not driving 110 miles per hour, it's kilometers. <laughs> no, it was miles. Kilometers. <laughs> Carrying on with the theme of the first video, if you watched it, there's a lot of gas stops. So here's some footage of us just driving between, you know, small town, rest stops, getting more fuel. Pretty par for the course when you're doing this, you have all these high performance vehicles burning fuel at a higher rate than the average vehicle. And of course you got to fill up. So you're literally hurrying to the next gas station. But we got to one gas station, which had a bit of a tourist attraction. The camel. Yeah. The she, camel. She goes and takes off to see this lonely camel in the Utah slash Nevada desert. At a gas station. They had a petting zoo. Yeah. So the night before I wasn't able to wash my car, we finally reached a small town. And the problem with these small towns, especially around lunchtime, when everyone wants to eat, is they don't all want to stop at the same place. Like I said, if you stop anywhere, it's an event. So you can't just all roll up at Burger King or McDonald's or something like that. So if you go to a place like that, we ended up going to a grocery store. We grabbed like pre-made food, like sandwiches, fruit cups, that kind of thing. And then we had a car wash because the night before I wasn't able to hit one. We looked for one, but the only one we could find was like in the ghetto <laughs> and all of the like bill feed machines were all busted up. It's like they were all like someone still smashed took them. some of your money. Yeah, they still <laughs> took some money and I went to grab the wand and there was no nozzle. It was just the handle. So I would just like spray water like a hose like that. But uh, yeah, not a good 
situation, but we got the car washed and then we met up with everybody at a gas station on the way out and then we left and yeah. then we were on our way to Vegas again. And I have to tell you, going between Salt Lake City, especially in that area where you're about to cross, you cross into like Arizona just for a second and then you're back in Nevada, I swear it's like, for us anyway, it was like national long haul truck driving week yeah, or day it was so, because it was so, so many trucks. So many trucks. And this was actually the instance where we almost lost the 720S. Now the footage that I have is from the time-lapse footage that I was running on my GoPro. So it's only doing like one frame every five seconds. So it doesn't look as dramatic on film just because of those missing frames. But I'll try to tell the story as best I can. But there's, remember there's nine of us and there's all these uh, trucks and the majority of them are doing the right thing. They're staying in the right lane. I understand sometimes with the downhill momentum, I have my class one driver's license. They need to, you know, move out because it's safer to use that extra speed they have to pass the guy in front of them. I get it. They need to go in the fast lane too, but they don't need to purposely try to overtake everybody just because they're in a hurry to get somewhere. There was this one flatbed truck. He wasn't carrying a load. He was unloaded. So he had, he was lighter so he could go faster, but he was weaving in and out of, of traffic and he was using his size as a bullying tactic for every person beside him. Yeah, he there were vehicles beside him. Dangerous driving. So you'll see the, my arm from my elbow to my hand will be the, the truck and the 720S pulls up and he's beside the rear axles of the high boy trailer, the flatbed and the truck sees him and he just comes over. So the wing on the 720S pops up and it just, you know, he breaks instantly and the truck just slides right in. Again, doesn't look as dramatic on the footage, but it was really scary. And I was right behind them. Cause Michelle and Mike were in front of the McLaren, right? Yeah, and so I was right behind the McLaren and he, he just forced his way in there. And this was just, this wasn't the first time, this was like the second or third time and then after that, he was weaving in and out of all the vehicles behind us. He yeah. was just being awful. He yeah. was, Finally, he we found so a break and everyone got past him. And he would, I think he gave the finger to our, our people too. Like, anyway, not cool. No. Whoever you were in the orange truck, there's, you know, there's being irresponsible and there's being irresponsible and reckless. Yeah. Just, um, was... Intentionally. It was just ridiculous, yeah. but nobody got hurt. Maybe some hurt feelings and egos and stuff, but, uh, you know, be safe out there. It's scary. Can get scary. So we had another problem. The M4 had an issue. What was it? We lost AC in a hundred degree heat. Yeah, hundred degree heat, 38 degrees Celsius. All of a sudden I noticed the air is not blowing properly. So we turned it off. I'm pretty sure the condenser was encased in ice just because it's been pumping all day in that type of heat. And it probably froze over and it wasn't, you know, cooling the lines properly. So to fix that, just turn off your HVAC system completely, roll down the windows, which we did. We let it sit for half an hour. Which didn't help. <laughs> well, it didn't help cool, it didn't help cool us down, but it helped the issue. Half hour later, we turned everything back on and oh the yeah. cold air returned. Thank God. It was yeah. so hot. Well once you get into the Valley of Vegas, I mean, game over. If you don't have AC, then you know. And we would have just been hitchhiking. <laughs> So the time finally came, we rolled into Las Vegas, but the cars were a little bit dusty, definitely filled up with bugs. We had to wash them, but we hit this car wash up, we got cleaned up and we rolled into Caesars Palace. And I have to say it felt pretty good. Yeah. It felt pretty good pulled into Caesars Palace, which usually we're walking um, on the sidewalks in front of Caesars Palace because we never stayed there. We don't usually bring a vehicle um, in their turnaround area. But this time we lined up all the sports cars. Thought we were just gonna get ballet. Yeah, we thought we were gonna get ballet and just park somewhere in the underground. I was a little worried because with all the flash flooding that the city has had as of late, I was like, oh, I don't wanna park like too low anywhere yeah. and have the flash flood incident. Um, so anyway, our host starts talking to the valets and they're negotiating. You know, they arranged for some rock star parking right out at the front 
and I wouldn't have thought we could have got any better parking than that. Like it was amazing. Yeah. Crowds of people just Ruined constantly. two weddings, I think. Yeah. The photographers finally just put all their stuff down while we were. Yeah. While we were There's parking. someone taking pictures by the fountain for a wedding and we're parking all of our cars and he's just like. I give up. Gives up. We didn't do it intentionally, so I apologize if we ruin somebody's uh, <laughs> photograph moment because um, as the sun's coming down. They were down, being part of the crowd too. This is really when the Vegas activities or shenanigans <laughs> kicked off. But the first night we went to the Wynn for dinner. We got, rent. A, we got a limo. We got a limo. We got a nice stretched Hummer limo. Now I have to tell you right off the bat, renting a limo was the way to go. Like per person to go together anyway, one destination to another. It was cheaper yeah, it was than an Uber or anything like that. I think, and you so. can arrange it that the driver will just come and you know pick you up when you're done where you're gonna be and, and vice versa. Just send him a message and he'll come get you. So we really did the Hummer limo like almost everywhere. Um, everywhere, not yeah. almost like there. Well you and I walked, walked a little more yeah. than, than maybe some, but we used the limo a lot. So that's a good takeaway if you uh, are gonna go to Vegas in a big group for like a car rally. We had a great dinner at the Wynn. We, uh, it was a long day, so we didn't really do a lot of nighttime activity in Vegas the first night. Um, Just kind of got to know everybody. Yeah, spent some time, got to know everybody, and then, well, you tell them what we started to do the next day because that's more your forte. Yeah, for a Starbucks. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's Starbucks in the hotel. And then I went down to the pool with the Starbucks. Yeah, work on this tan. And uh, yeah, then went shopping. Well, yeah, but it was a good strategy. Yeah, we went going. down. We were there when it opened. The pool. The pool, and stayed for a couple hours and left before lunch. Which was a good thing. <laughs> Very good thing. Prices in Vegas. We've gone lots, like I've told earlier in this video. The prices must be 50% higher. Oh, more. I don't remember spending that much at the pool drinking ever in all of our years going to Vegas. Yeah. But. Well, tell them what happened. We left to go shopping. Which <laughs> we left was a to go shopping, move. and our group showed us their bill, and there was some pretty hefty prices a $930 bill for a few finger foods and some drinks. Yeah, they did poolside drinks. Some were virgin, some were alcoholic, and really like bar food, like just finger food type things. And we were with them right before they started running up that tab, but we went to go shopping, <laughs> and they blew $900 in a few hours. They had a great time, yeah. probably no regrets. Um, but our portion of what could have been maybe $1,200 went to buy in some new clothes, not this, but new clothes. <laughs> okay, so shopping was all done. We get back to our hotel and then what did we do? We got ready and we went to STK for dinner. At the Cosmopolitan. Yeah. Nice hotel, we stayed there once before. Mm -hmm. Great view of the Bellagio if you get set on the right side. We had a good view of the Bellagio fountains from Caesar's. our room at yeah. Caesars, so that was good. Um, SDK, Restaurant was pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. I don't know what it was, but out of all of the food, I mean, I like the steak that I had, but those sliders and the macaroni, like some of the appetizers were just, <laughs> I was really hungry. So maybe it was that too, but. Uh, and your guys' is green butter. Yeah, green butter. And the green butter. Now what I don't understand, and for all those restaurant managers that are watching this video, if there's many of you, we had a table of 18, 16. 16, 18, somewhere in there. The food was all taken care of in advance as part of you know this rally package. So that was all arranged fine. And then the alcohol was all gonna be separate, which was all decided ahead of time. And we're clearly sitting in like pairs, like couples. Like, oh, like what are you gonna order? You know, <laughs> so for the the person serving us, they should be able to discern that. They're gonna to wanna to bill for theirs. They're gonna to wanna to bill for theirs. But even if she didn't, we still even explained to right. her we were together. Yes, and so we're like, okay, we're ready to, or she brings one bill out and she goes, here's the bill for all of the drinks. I can only divide it by five, <laughs> evenly. Yeah, she could even divide it by five so that we could even figure out our own. So drinks. even though she is usually an over drinker, mm -hmm. we were conservative that night and we just had a couple drinks each but there were people around the table that were, you know, three, four, five each type thing, maybe 10. I don't know. I didn't keep track of them, but I certainly know that we weren't going to pay a fifth of the alcohol bill. Yes. So let's just say it took 
like an extra 45 minutes to get it all sorted out. And the way that they handle it, this, the server, I, I think that because she was not handling it as well as she could, I think that she, well, she definitely lost some tip for me, but definitely from others. So I mean, she, she kind of hurt herself. Like her 20% they had a included. included gratuity already of 18 or 20%, but we were running late. We were running late for the Cirque du Soleil show. Ka. Mm -hmm. You know, we've seen each Cirque du Soleil that, that's ever been in Vegas, I think. Yeah. And we saw this one too, probably, I don't know, 10, 12 years ago. <laughs> it was like I a saw, whole new I experience. saw it for the first time again. <laughs> if it was exactly the same, maybe, or they could have rewrote the whole show and I wouldn't be able to tell them if it was any different. I just remember the one part that was the same when the guy was on the... Yeah, yeah. I, I feel that's overdone. If you guys have ever watched any of those those shows where they have like the hamster cage and it's spinning and the guy's walking on it and they can also run in it. I feel like that's incorporated in so yeah, many probably. shows now. Same with the, like the motorbikes that, you know, chase each other in the sphere. Um, I feel like everyone does a variation of that these days, but who am I? I'm not an entertainment connoisseur for live stage shows. We should be at this yeah, point. Yeah, <laughs> we should be. So next day we went to the pool as one does. We did not stick around for the, uh, Drinking cool shenanigans. side drinking and uh, <laughs> and food, but we had an appointment for the whole group to go do some uh, go karting. Your first time. Yep. Um, you were happy though because you got to take something home. You got to keep it. Oh yes, my my your, head sock. Your head sock. <laughs> I'll roll the footage of the head sock. You'll love it. <laughs> and uh, we basically did different heats until we figured out who was the fastest. I was not the fastest, but I blame the car, not the driver. Um, but I was a, a top performer, we'll put it that way. Top three or four, pretty consistently. First in my group the first time, mm -hmm. and then I got a really bad car the next time. And then, anyway, whatever. You guys don't care how I did. Um, the main thing is we had fun. It was fun. Remember we got chased by SWAT team in the Yeah, limo. Our, so our limo, <laughs> the Hummer, he's pumping music loud. And he can't hear the SWAT team behind us and moving out of like to move out of the way. And it looked like it looked a like movie. we were yeah, it looked like a movie. I got a little bit of footage here, I'll roll it, but uh, you know, it's pretty good. It's pretty fun. And then we found out there was like an actual reason. Like there was There's a, like a hostage situation or something, like, like right a few blocks a block away. away. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, when we came out of the go-karts, we happened to look up and there was a guy just uh, standing on his balcony butt naked. Yeah. And uh, waving high. He was waving with three arms <laughs> and all the guys kind of went, oh yeah. And all the ladies were like, more, more. Anyway. Taking pictures. Yeah, they were taking pictures. Video. Yeah, they'll never admit it, but they're just like guys. <laughs> we just, no. We just no. Think, it, you think about it differently. <laughs> so that night we go for dinner at, we go to Fremont yeah. Street. Yeah. Now, some of our group had never been to Fremont, so we let them know that there are some characters, some special characters there. <laughs> and in you know various states of attire and dress and uh it was no let down and this was like what a wednesday or a thursday i'm like yeah. imagine being here on the weekend guys like this is tame um but for the newbies it was uh you know something else so that was good but the plan was to have food on fremont street and fremont's not known for its fine dining there's some good food places i know the pizza at knievel e pizza or e evil knievel evil pie Evil pie? Yeah, it's like an evil or a Knievel. It's Evil Knievel themed. It's called yeah, Evil Eve, Pie. Right. It's a good pie place pizza if you uh, ever want to try it on Fremont. But we went to the Heart Attack Grill. Now, I'd never been there, but I'd seen it a few times. We walked by it and there's a scale outside and you have to weigh yourself before you go in and then you weigh yourself when you come out. But its whole premise is to really, it's like food pornography. It's like... It's Gross. It's just <laughs> indulge in your burger and they don't give you all the fixings to... There's not one thing healthy on their menu. Right. Not one So they're like, like, don't ask for lettuce, don't ask for tomato. You can get cheese, you can get bacon. Anyway, we... Uh, anything fried. I'll, I'll play some of the footage, but let's just say that some people were scared, me being one of them, because if you buy a meal, the burger has to get eaten or you'll get spanked by a nurse. So for every patty that you don't eat, so if I order a, a double cheeseburger and I don't eat one of the patties, then I get three lashings. Yeah, three spanks. Spankings. Per 
How do you don't eat? And there's one nurse that she she's a heavy hitter. Heavy hitter. That paddle on your bottom. So somebody, not me, was smart enough to tell our server that we were going to get back at the host, our organizer, and they bought him like the 12 patty or 50. It was it had 40 pieces of bacon and patties Nine. from here to here. Nine patties, I think. I'm actually scared for my life. I would be. That's 9,000 calories. What is this? <laughs> uh, he did not finish the burger. He ate two patties and all the rest left. So I think he had to get hit like 15 times or 25 times or times? a lot of times. <laughs> and then somebody said, well, I feel bad. I'll go up to and get that wasn't three. Me. No, no, oh. this is before you. Oh. And it set the tone that all of us had to go and give some gratuitous, um, you know, volunteer our asses to get. Uh, <laughs> I to did get not spank. even eat there. And yeah, somehow... she didn't even eat there, and somehow she participated, but maybe you liked it. It's good. I gotta get a video. <laughs> Uh, and then there's me, I like no emotion, and I just get up there and just take it. And I'm pretty sure I saw some tears. I don't recommend doing that. If you try to go up there and show, yeah, like this doesn't hurt, they're just gonna try and hurt you more. And the last one, you know, did sting she pretty good. Your back, didn't she? Yeah, she hit me a little high. Um, but now we had to burn <laughs> off some of these calories. So we left the restaurant and we went up and down the strip and just did a lot of people watching, a lot of drinking. Lots of drinking. That was our, that was our one day of drinking. I don't even know how this happened. I think it was because of where we were. I, I recall now, and it has nothing to do with the drinking. But we ended up at El Cortez. If you don't know what that is? <laughs> I forgot about That's that. a, just a, a lower quality hotel uh, in the Fremont area. Casino. Yeah, hotel casino. And that's where we ended up, El Cortez, waiting for our limo to come pick us up. And then we uh, had the limo take us to the Bellagio and we watch the fountains and uh, call it a night. So I think this is a good place to end the video for today. That way we don't make it too long. We should be able to fit the rest in a part three. Um, this really was just more about, you know, getting to Vegas and then some of the Vegas activities. They're gonna be unique for you. They're gonna be for unique for anybody that goes. Each time that you go, Vegas is ever changing. Never have the same experience twice. This is different for us because we've never gone with other people. That's right. We uh, had other people there, especially ones that hadn't been there before, which is interesting because you get to see their reactions um, with some of the craziness that is Vegas. And this was just midweek. It wasn't even a weekend, which is 10 times as crazy on a weekend. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm going to let Mrs. Dawn's life end the video. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button. <laughs> and like it if you want to keep getting notified for more. Do we need to do that again? Okay. Hit that like button. If you like the video, hit the subscribe button. No. If you like this video, no, hit the like button. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna let Mrs. Dawn's life end this video because she's been practicing her outro. Please hit, I can't do it. Please hit the like button and please subscribe. Yeah. No, that's wrong. Thumbs up. Hit that like button. Hit the, we can't say if you like the video. And if you like this video, video, hit that like button. Please consider subscribing. Okay. <laughs> If you like this video, hit the like button and please consider subscribing. <laughs> you got it. Awesome. And uh, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. And we'll talk to you next time. <laughs> you might